Thanks for checking out InsidePunch.com. As the popularity of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu continues to skyrocket, we present to you The Arsenal, where BJJ Black Belt Armand Barros presents to you the Technique of the Week. Dangerous position. A lot of people are evolving their game. They're skipping over the clothes guard altogether, going straight to half guard because they're nailing sweeps and submissions and things in that position. So one thing that a lot of people do on the bottom and half guard is get into one of those underhook uh, positions, and you feel threatened, like they're going to roll and take your back, or they're going to sweep you really easy. So we're going to show a counter to that. It's been one of my favorite passes uh, since I started training jujitsu. So once again, Ethan's going to give me a hand here. Um, what I'm going to do is actually come to the other side of the real quick here. And I'm going to take this leg, he's on top in half guard position, okay? And what I'm going to do is, you'll notice he's working to get himself under that underhook and work his hips down around my knee so that he can eventually make his way out the back door, okay? So when he comes back, what I'm going to do to try to slow him down on that position until I get ready to make my move is as he puts his underhook, my hand is going to grab his belt, okay? Now this knee is going to come up and pulse just a little bit, but I do want to kind of bait him into thinking he's going to go ahead and go out the back door. And before he gets too far gone, I'm going to post on this leg, and I'm going to kick all the way over his body. I'm going to come back real quick, watch. As I kick over, I let go of the belt and move it up to the shoulder. So as I kick over, release, and come right here. Couple details. I want to make sure my shoulder pressure is really heavy in his chin. I basically want Ethan looking away from me. If he's looking in, he's got a chance to move his shoulder up and counter, right? So I really want to put that weight here. Next up, I take my hips, and my hip position is shooting away from his, almost to the point where I'm really far away, okay? Now in this position, I'm going to take my hand, grab right on the top. A lot of people want to come inside here and push and do a bunch of things. All I want to do is get a little pull. It loosens his grip on my leg just a little bit, just enough for me to start shrimping my body away. Notice how my foot starts to slide out of his half guard. Now, last thing, he's going to bite down on that ankle because it's his saving grace. If he, if he let that foot go, I'm obviously going to be passed. He's going to bite down on that really hard. It's okay. We have an answer for that too. We're going to take our foot and put it on the bottom leg. Push and continue to shrimp. Immediately, the leg that was on top of his half guard comes through, and I stabilize the side position. All right, so one more time in real time, I'm gonna do that again, just so we can get that shot. I'm here on top of half guard. Ethan comes with his hook under. I step over, move my hand to his shoulder, shoulder pressure on his jaw. I grab the top of the leg and pull. I hit skate my weight away. As he's fighting down, I put my foot on the bottom, continue to push, bring my leg under, and I'm on top in the, half, in the side position, all right? So again, go through that movement um, a few times, practice going back and forth a little bit. Like I said, it's one of the sweeps that I rely on a lot to get out of the half guard position and to continue to advance my position, all right? So check out next week's uh, Arsenal and InsidePunch.com. Thanks a lot for watching.